like an online dating shit. Can't stand that shit. Because sometimes you can, like, you, like, you have captions, right? Like to describe some little catchphrase or some, whatever the fuck. You always get women in there, like in their 40s and 50s. Kids are grown, I'm ready to date. No, you're not. You're single and you're bored. That's why you're on this motherfucker right now. And so am I, goddammit. <laughs> But the thing about online dating, though, is that, like, I don't like when people lie, because eventually you guys see each other. You know what I mean? Like, I know women, y'all can get pissed at me. I'm just being honest. I want to keep it a buck with y'all. Like, you can't down put your body type voluptuous if I can't tell the difference between your titties and your stomach. <laughs> That's not voluptuous. That's preposterous, bitch. Why would you put that in your porn profile? <laughs> I matched with this one girl, right? Her tagline was like, bring a calculator, I'm problematic. <laughs> Deleted, fuck that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that shit, fuck that. But that's fucked up though, because I've had like so many toxic relationships that when you date a normal motherfucker, you get bored real quick. And that's not good. Like, a month into the shit, and like, hey, uh, is everything good? Yeah? Well, you ain't yelled at me for shit. Because you get traumatized, right? Well, you didn't do nothing wrong, baby. I'm like, do you want me to do something wrong? Like, <laughs> I'm not used to the quiet shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the trip, man. Um, I, like, I like dating black women and Latinas. Wow, y'all didn't clap for yeah. shit. <laughs> Bunch of racist ass motherfuckers, okay. <laughs> but I do, so it was like 10 years ago, uh, I dated my first black woman, and uh, I, mean, I know like black women take like real serious things about their hair, right? So, uh, but this particular night, I didn't think, and she didn't think we were gonna mess around. So uh, we got back to my place, we started messing around but apparently her weave wasn't like all the way in. Like it wasn't fastened. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so she goes down on me. And she started getting good, right? I have a bad habit of putting my hand, like, you know what I mean? It got good and the shit started to fall the fuck off. But she didn't stop. She just kept going, so she's like sitting there like, I'm just sitting there like, go girl, okay, all right, there. <laughs> You're gonna get an awesome Yelp review tomorrow, shit. <laughs> that was awesome. I dated big girls, I'll date a big girl, I don't give a fuck. I don't care, you two, I dated one girl, she was 5'5 five, five and 250 pounds. But she was fine. But she wanted to fuck around and get on top. Like, I like big girls, but some of y'all forget you're big when you're in the bedroom. I love y'all, but goddamn, like... <laughs> these hips are for cruising, not off-roading, bitch. Like, you gotta be... <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta work in the morning. <laughs> like, I have to walk during my job, like, shit. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, I have alopecia, and uh, the thing about that is uh, people look at it differently, right? It's weird. And there's one time um, I was dating this one girl, and I waited like a gentleman. You know what I mean? I didn't want to jump on her bones right away and shit. So I was being playing it real cool, right? And after a couple of weeks, we messed around. And this is the first time we messed around. This is what she tells me When you pull out, I want you to go on my legs. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, when you pull out, I want you to go on my legs. Well, I don't kink shame, so I was like, okay. <laughs> so I pull out and went on her leg. And then she starts to rub it in. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, well, I figure if I rub this in, I don't have to shave my legs anymore. I was like, bitch. Give me your other leg, give me your other leg. <laughs> <laughs>